Hey guys, go get your make more videos again today guys. We're gonna be testing out the cordless digital inflator. So without further ado, let's get to it. So I'm actually gonna be testing this out on my friend's boat, the trailer thing that we had last time. So let's get, actually get to his house right now. Look at that Hondo cord. But let me do a quick unboxing right here, right in the trunk. Look at that, it even comes with a nice case. Let's open this bad boy up. Ooh. Okay, so the reason why I got this is because of my last video, the boat trailer needed some air, and I realized that there was no plug to plug in my portable tire inflator in anywhere, so we had to actually get our pump and stuff. All right, we're gonna need to fill these tires up with air so that we can actually move it out. And so I decided, you know what, why don't we just have something like this, which is cordless, you know, battery operated and use it wherever we want to. That's why this is this is going to be perfect, guys. Well, hopefully, you know, hopefully it works. Look at this. Oh, man. Pretty heavy duty. It's got the actual device right there. We're going to need this to attach to this bad boy. We have the battery right here. It looks like a freaking drill. 12 volt battery. Already charged it. Ready to go. I haven't used it yet. And then last but not least, which is cool, is that yes, it is battery operated, but you can also use this right here. You can plug into your car, 12 volt cigarette lighter, charging port whatever you want to call it and plug it in and it does the same exact thing this is just in case if the battery dies on this but in this case the battery is not dead look at this all right it should work let's actually go to the trailer and let's do this Ooh, we're taking the tundra how you doing sir do you know why the reason why i stopped you all right we made it All right, we made it to the infamous junkyard, Alberto's junkyard right here. So the PSI this thing requires is actually 50, and we're going to actually actually put 50 on here so that it automatically stops pretty much whenever it's done. All right, and then you just screw it on. As you can see, we're just screwing it on right now. There we go. And then push the button. Right, push, Ooh, Lambo? No. <laughs> Was that Lambo, Alberto? No. While this is happening, what are you going to do with your land, Alberto? Build the house eventually. <laughs> eventually build a house on this? For rental? Yeah. How many rental properties do you have, Alberto? You think we can finish this? It's going to take some work, I know. So normally this thing shouldn't take that long. It's just that obviously it's completely flat. Let me just check. Yeah, let's just check it. Just check to make sure. Obviously you can use this for a car, basketball, SUV, whatever, truck. However, we're just doing it on a trailer because that's what we need it at the moment. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. As you can see, it's good to go. Let's see how flat the other side is. It automatically turns off, right? Yeah. Nice. Let's just uh, make our pathway to that place. Okay, the, one, this one is 33? Mm -hmm. Oh man. And it's supposed to be 50? Since technically you're the one using it, what do you think about it? Pretty nice, it's portable. I mean, small, compact, so. Yeah. I mean, compared to the big compressor that I tried the other day. Yeah. But you don't like stuff that's made of plastic. Yeah. <laughs> but would you still use it though? Yeah, I would use it. Oh, okay, it's okay. Fine. Yeah, the moment he saw it, he was like, oh man, it's made of plastic. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> made of dust rust though. Yeah, it works. I mean, it gets the job done, right? You think we should uh, like remove this rusted to make it look better, I guess? Alberto just said that might as well just check the pressure of his Tundra because, I mean, we have the thing right here. Yeah, once that's done, I guess we'll just check to see if all these tires are good to go. Oh, look at those tires. Kind of does look kind of flat, but I don't know. We'll see. Are the pod lights on? There are the pod lights right there. People always tell me on my videos, oh, those don't last that long. It looks like it's part of the vehicle, too. It's kind of weird. It's like dirty part of the vehicle. Is it Gucci? Gucci. All right, let's put it on your truck, too. Ah! What the frick? What's that? Now it's going to be safe to actually take this trailer. Can't wait to continue. We're not going to be working on this today. However, we will continue working on it tomorrow. Today, we have something special. We're going to somewhere. You'll see. What, what is it? No, 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 you gotta no. turn it on. First, you always have to turn it on, guys. Make sure you turn it on. The boat one was 50. What is this right here? This is, right now it has 46, but. Make sure it's PSI too. Yeah, it's PSI. You always check on your door right here. It says right here, the front needs 49 PSI. The rears need 49 as well. So everything 49 and the spare is 33. So 49, dude. So once you put PSI, just put 50 since like it's gonna be close. Look at this, Alberto, random iPhone 10 X Max case. <laughs> uh, thing with Alberto is that he breaks an iPhone every week. You get an iPhone every week, right, Alberto? 
All right, guys, so this thing actually does work. Uh, it does get the brutal approval rating, if, except the fact that it's not metal. He likes everything that's metal, so this is plastic. But in a pinch, as you can see, the bolt's way back there. It's better to have something wireless like this, something that cordless, that you can just you know plug it in and then get some air into your vehicle or whatever you require. And in this case, this helped a lot. I'll leave the links in the description below for this bad boy. Now, let's actually go do what we had planned to do today. Look at this. Alright, if you don't know, we have actually entered Nissan. We're going right now to check out a car. Uh, Nissan Altima? Maxima. Maxima. Yeah. Platinum? It's a nice vehicle, guys, I have to say. So, let's go check it out, Alberto. Check it out with your coffee. I mean, I talked to him. He just mm -hmm. did it on the computer. But he didn't even talk to him. He did it right to, on the computer. To talk to me? He didn't yeah, take he, any phone? No, no, he just did it maybe, right there. Maybe whatever the deal. If he built the deal and it's 10%, but to get the nine percent, how's the deal going, Alberto? So, so the deal's not going the way that Alberto wants it. Obviously, we do this all the time. If it doesn't go the way we want it, we go somewhere else. That's the bottom line. But in the meantime, since we're here at Nissan, check out this GTR. Make them mad, Alberto? Yeah. <laughs> are they are they really mad right now? Yeah, I'm trying to laugh because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> they always try to do this to us, man. We we buy cars all the time. <laughs> they always do this, like it's a negotiation. But anyways, let's see what happens. Down payment. You getting that on video? Yeah. Okay. No, <laughs> don't no, worry. No. Like it's not for you. It's <laughs> yeah. I, can, I can tell the big camera. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, any any questions? Well, what is their deal? What do you mean? Oh, come on, man. We always want a better deal. There's always oh, a better deal. Happy customer? Eh, not happy, but you know. Alright, Alberto, what do you think of the deal? Uh -huh. <laughs> it was alright, right? But, I mean, we have like super high standards. Lizette is completely happy with it. <laughs> She's like, whoa, that was an amazing deal for me and Alberto. We were just like, man, we could have got it for $10 a month, right? <laughs> okay, I'll get in the car. <laughs> oh, dude. This is nice. Dude, panoramic sunroof. Beautiful Maxima, guys. It's the platinum version. Dual panoramic sunroof. Look at that. Pretty much a fully loaded. I, I'm absolutely in love with this interior as well. Obviously, we can change out a lot of these lights to LEDs. You can see this is all like yellow and stuff. LEDs make these LEDs inside here. These are definitely LEDs, but you know, LEDs in there. A lot of improvements that we can do. They're coming back. But let's look at her, get in the car, and let's see how she likes it. There you go. Don't be nervous. It's your vehicle. You letting me drive the truck to your house? See you at the house? Yeah. Okay. I'm driving your dad? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we're going to Alberto's truck. We gotta drive the truck, right? Alberto Ooh, Senior? We gotta drive the truck. No, you drive him. You're gonna drive it, Alberto Senior? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna effectively end this vlog right here, guys. I'm gonna be driving Alberto's dad, Alberto Sr., to the house. Of course, we're gonna be driving a Tundra. <laughs> He's like, he keeps telling me, yeah, I'm driving because he doesn't want to drive the big truck. But yeah, a lot of negotiation that I didn't want to put in a video, but hopefully you guys saw the GTR really cool in person. It's a new GTR to 2019. I'm gonna end this vlog today, guys. But if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Other than that, guys, keep just share saying thanks for watching and peace.